in and then once they are in what we will do is we will go ahead and get started now how many of you all have already set up your accounts let me know over in the chat box if you all have already set up your accounts welcome in avi welcome in barbara welcome in bill welcome in dean welcome in douglas welcome in george welcome in giuseppe welcome in glenna welcome in jason welcome in Cass, keith louis linwood mickey phil dora ramsey ricardo robert rod sonia sunita timothy tom truman will and william research password but didn't won't allow me now the thing about that is is that let me go ahead and share my screen um what we do is we automatically add you to the course um well we automatically add you to the course and we automatically add you into smart marketer now give me a um what you are going to be able to do if you cannot sign in what you're going to do is you're going to go to the editor and let me show you where you're going to find smart marketer at you're just going to go into the editor here and you are going to go into smart apps okay and then you're going to see smart marketer right here and you should be able to click on that and you should be able to go up here and actually log in so you would press log in okay and then it's going to have your email information if you have not created an account you should be able to create an account but an account should already be created for you um i have that done through i actually have it done for you by our team so if you are not able to get in just let me know while you're in here and i will make sure that we are able to hold on one second um we're able to add you in and we'll add you in while you're on this webinar if you cannot get in okay so just make sure if you can't get in right um i can't get in i use the um used to but my login no longer works mickey we will have our team take a look at that hold on one second let me find out Hold on one second. Okay. Um, let me see where is, hold with me one quick moment. Let me just see. Um, hold on. Let me get Lewis here. Okay, okay, all right, so Mickey is actually in. That is a good thing, so I don't have to worry about that. He was able to get in. So once we get in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our login information, and we are going to go ahead and sign in. And what I am going to do here is I am actually going to give you some huge, huge, huge updates here, okay? <coughs> And what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go over an overview of the system. The reason that we're gonna do an overview of the system is because, um, the reason that we are going to do an overview of the system is because I've added a few things to the system that you all are going to love. Um, and also too, there is, you need to put your social accounts in um inside so um let's go over it right now okay so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go up here now some of this stuff you're not going to see you're not going to see the admin all right you're not going to see that because you're not an admin on there you're probably not going to see this part here but you're going to see the comment feature comment automation subscriber manager messenger bot um ecom store and some new things here um social posting we had but gmb manager now this is being finished out um this should be over the next few days but this is actually 
um, Google My Business. So what you're going to be able to do, actually, oh, wow, it's up. Ooh, I love it. I love it. So now you have the ability to also be able to do this on Google My Business. Um, there's a lot that you can do on Google My Business. You can do location manager. You can do campaigns. And you can automate the entire thing with review replies, okay? Um, babe, did you just go to the store? Uh, did you give me a Red Bull? You didn't, did you ask? No? Okay, no worries. Okay, um, so my wife did not get me a Red Bull from the store, but that is okay. So you now have GMB Manager, which is Google My Business. Um, you can actually do campaigns on Google My Business also. So you can do post campaigns, you can do media campaigns, you could do RSS auto posts. Um, you can also do review replies, which we'll get into. Now, this is going to be all about automation and your customer service. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that, um, okay, so the other day, was the first day that Instagram actually allowed you all to be able to have an API for social posting on Instagram, okay? Um, it is the first time you all have ever, ever been able to do that. Um, you know what I need to do really quickly? Hold on. Um, because the GMB was just finished, um, because GMB was just finished, I need to add it to you all's accounts. Hold on one second. Let me just see. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to add those in right now. Okay, hold on one second, totally, um, because my, uh, what you call it, I just got done with this developer, just got done with that. So let me do this. I just need to upgrade. Okay, let me just show you all. I want to give you all a behind the scenes look at everything that's there. Um, yes, it's not in the account because I am adding it into the account right now, Bill. That's what I'm saying right now, okay? So let me just show you all everything that's there. So you have comment automation, comment auto reply, comment reply enhancers, um, comment in bulk tag, comment reply enhancers, full page, all of this stuff is here, e-commerce, um, email broadcast, email broadcast sequence, email phone opt-in, form builder I just add, Facebook account, Facebook live streaming, Facebook live streaming, cross-posting, auto-share comment, Facebook pages, posting, flow builder, Google My Business, right? Google My Business, um, account import, answers to questions, media upload, post to locations, reply to reviews, RSS auto-posting. All of that is being added in right now. Um, I have added uh, all of the social posters in and everything is there. And now that I saved that, okay, now that I have saved it, um, you all should refresh, uh, just refresh your um, apps. And now you should have all of that. Let me just do it here also. Okay, let me, I just need to do it one more time. And you should be able to refresh in a second. Hold on one second. Oh, wow. Hold on, hold on. Let me just do this.
Okay. All right. Okay, 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 okay. So if everyone refreshes right now, now they should be able to see the social posting, the GMB manager, Instagram posting, search tools, flow builder, broadcasting, um, messenger bot, um, subscription manager, comment autom automation, and comment automation. Okay. My account doesn't look like it's been updated. What do I need to do? You need to refresh your screen and it should just take a few minutes and you should be able to refresh your screen. And once you refresh your screen, all of that is there, okay? Well, just give it a minute and it'll be there for you all. Don't worry about it. I just added it in. You just saw me add it into your system. So just um, give it a minute. Let me just see here. I can actually go to user manager right now and I can look up. Um, let me see here. So I can look up Mickey. Mickey Smith. Okay. First of all, Mickey, one of the reasons is, is because you have two separate accounts. I'm not sure which account you are into. Um, one obviously says um, Mickey Smith at Outlook and the other one is Mickey D. Smith at Gmail. Um, we are going to need to edit one of these accounts out. Let's just see last. Um, this looks like the one that you're into. So let's just go to your sales dashboard and there's no i'm under your account and it is right here mickey so i just refreshed your account and it's right there so you should have everything that you need okay so all right good 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 all right so everyone should have what they need just give me a two 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 over in the chat box okay i over um i input credential but it looped around and came back again to input it all um say uh roy let me just check you really quick okay i have you here roy and it's saying that you've never logged in um i don't know why that is let's see something here um let me just see something you have this um i am not sure here what is going on? It doesn't look like maybe you didn't verify your account, Roy. Um, you may need to get with customer support. Um, it could just be because you did not verify your account. <coughs> I can actually check your identity. Okay, so um, if someone could help Roy out, that would be good. Okay. Right, I cleared. Um, okay, so something that you may want to do is uh, Gabriel said that she cleared her cash. Gabriel said cleared cash and re logged in, and it's actually working. Okay, so sorry, but where do I find this? What are you looking at? Um, where do I find what are you actually trying to find, Sunita? Right, so once you log into your account. Okay, once you log into, you should be at the dashboard right here, and you should see all of this on the left hand side of the dashboard. Okay, um, I'm not finding things either. No, um, go ahead and clear your cache, sign out, refresh your clear your cache, sign out sign back into the application and you should be able to find it. Um, if I go to, let's just see here, I could go to user management here and um, I could go to Louie. Louie. Okay, I could go into Louie and Louie, I'm just going to sign into your account really quick. Louis, let's just sign into your account. Okay, I'm going to go into your activity, and this is your dashboard. And Louis, yes, Louis, all everything is there. Okay, 
So you just need to your your cash, you need to clear your cash. So I would sign out, clear my cash, re-sign back in. Okay. Okay, re-signed in, got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, Dan, you are the same. Okay. Yeah, Ricky, uh, Mickey, we're actually working on a one sign-in login, um, which should be done pretty soon, where you only sign into one, and you are signed into everything, okay? Okay, Roy, are you talking? Is this your um okay, Roy, you're gonna need to talk to support. Um, um I will have um support be able to help you because I don't want to spend time on um on just one person's issue. So please contact support um because I am let me just go here. Um and user management. And if I go to Roy, you're already there. Okay, and I could go into your activity and you're there. Okay, so Roy, maybe you need to change your password or you need to do something else. I'm not sure what the issue, um, what your issue is, but let's go ahead and move on. Um, am I supposed to be logged into Video Remix? No, you're not supposed to be logged into Video Remix. What you're going to do is you're going to go into Video Remix. You're going to go into your projects and courses section. Okay, that's going to take you. Then you're going to go over to your smart apps. Okay, and then you're going to go into Smart Marketer and you will log in to Smart Marketer. Okay, all right, so let's just do this. All right, so I am in Smart Marketer now. Let's get to it, okay? All right, so the first thing that we need to do before we do anything else. Um, also, one other thing, ladies and gentlemen, let me just go over this really quick because I'm going to, I want to help as much as I can, but some of, uh, um, some of this stuff is already in your training. Um, each and every one of you all were given access to the Smart Academy course. Okay, so let me just go into Smart Academy. Okay, and what you have been giving access to, let me just do something really quick, is Kajabi, hold on. Let me just give myself access to this. All right, hold on one second. So that I could show you, each one of you all were giving access um, to the full course that walks you through it, okay? Um, I am going to, um, let me just go to Smart Marketer right here. And let me go to, okay, uh, let me go here. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Okay, let me go to this product. Uh, let me, I've got to do something else. <clears throat> Hold with me.
Okay, let me just do something really quick. Okay. Okay, so let me just go here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you have an entire smart market or course um a smart marketer course i have already sent over uh information to you all about that course what you need to do is if you are unable to do that um if you have not seen this then you need to go into your email and just put in invite smart marketer okay invite smart marketer and you should be able to go in that way okay so now when you have that all right um you can see all of the lessons here um it teaches you it walks you through the complete tools of everything now the only thing that are not has not been added are the updates that i just added for you all i'll be doing videos on those and adding those in but this will tell you how you log in how you start uh, um going over the overview of your account this is the backup um, this is not a, a um, this is not a support webinar. This is going to be a training webinar. So if you have any issues not being able to go in um, or not being able, um, if you have any issues of not being able to log in, um, not being able to, um, I, I mean, your account information, please contact support. Support will be able to help you with that, okay? All right, good, good, good. Okay, so here we go. So let's go ahead and go over to our smart marketer. And I'm just gonna put this stuff down really quick. Okay, there's your smart academy. Um, let me just see. All right, so now once we are in, the first thing that you need to do is you need to import your accounts, okay? Um, importing your accounts is going to be, without importing those accounts, then what we are going to not be able to do is we are not going to be able to um, actually make any of the functionality work, okay? Now, when you actually import your account, what you are going to see here is when you go to import account, all right, you are going to be able to list all of your pages. Okay, you're going to be able to list all of your pages here. You're going to be able to list all of the groups that you are currently in. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Looks like my computer froze. <clears throat> Hold with me one quick second.
right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so going back over to import your accounts, you're going to log in with your Facebook. Okay, as you can see, I'm already logged in. You've been successfully logged in. You can add all of your groups that you are in. Okay, your groups are your clients' groups. It does not matter. Okay, um, groups that we are the admin of. Yes, these have to be groups that you are the admin for. Okay. So they have to be groups that you are admin for, or you have admin abilities to be able for Facebook, to be able to do auto posting or anything like that, you have to be the admin of it. So if you are working with local businesses, they can add you as an admin so that you could do their auto posting, you could do their auto replies, okay? So that's number one right so you're going to import all of your pages here and this is all of your facebook information so i'm in five pages i have five pages in seven different groups that i am a part of um i always start a test group um and utilize that test group and then i'll just use the test group until i actually have a group that i'm going to be doing right then what you want to do is you are going to go to um right here you are then going to go to your instagram posting okay and what you are going to need to add in is you are going to need to add in your instagram account so what's going to happen is is that most of the time your instagram account is also going to be connected to, okay? Your Instagram account is also going to be connected to your Facebook account. In many, many businesses, their Facebook is also with Instagram since Facebook owns Instagram. So once you input their Facebook page, then you want to go and you want to do their Instagram, right? And what you're going to do for that is you're just going to go here to social posting, and then it'll ask you to input your Facebook account, which will take you right back there. But you can then go here where you can input all of your social accounts, okay? So we're going to input our social accounts. We'll just hit input social accounts. And what I'll do, Um, Linwood, I have already mentioned the fact of is that GMB has not been added into all of the new updates were just completed yesterday. I have not added those to the training yet. Okay, so you're going to go here for your social posting. And what you're going to do is you have the ability to add Twitter accounts in, you have the ability to add LinkedIn accounts in, you can add Reddit accounts in, you can add blogger accounts in, you could add your WordPress account in, you could add your WordPress self-hosted account in, and there should be an Instagram, hold on one second, let me see why your Instagram account. Uh, hold on, log in, let's just see. Comment automation, automation campaign. Let me just see something. Okay, so when you want to enable your Instagram, hold on. See, I don't have an Instagram account that's set up with this it would automatically add your Instagram account because your Instagram is normally hooked with your Facebook account, okay? Then when you want to be able to do your um, Google My Business Manager, you are then going to import the, your Google My Business account. And at this, I don't think that I, I don't even have a Google My Business account but you can grant smart auto to permission you grant them permission okay and you allow right 
And now I have my Google My Business account imported in. All right. Let me know if everyone understands that, that the first thing that you should do, okay, the first thing that you should do is be able to import your account. Um, Barbara, you say, I cannot get my IG and my Facebook accounts to link. Um, you were talking about um, your, your Facebook and your IG account. Your IG account, I believe, has to be a business account. Um, you have to have a Facebook business account and then an IG business account, if I am correct. Um, you could actually Google how to link Facebook to Instagram. Okay. Um, and there is, okay, so how to add your Facebook account. Um, you have your friend Google here that'll be able to help you with that. Okay, so this is the link that you'll use, Barbara. Okay. Do I need to set up a Google My Business account or is it automatic with my Gmail login? It is not automatic with your Gmail login. You have to have a Google My Business account to actually have a Google My Business account, okay? Um, I am signed in and I cannot find the link to the dashboard. Um, you should, if you don't see the link to the dashboard, Avi, please um, send a, uh, send a, Avi, are you seeing everything else here? Are you seeing your comment feature? Are you seeing your messenger tools? Are you seeing e-commerce store? Are you seeing posting features? Are you seeing search tools? No. Okay, Avi. So what we need to do, Avi, is you just need to contact support. Um, there is obviously, I don't know if you, you've had problems signing in. Maybe you signed into the wrong account. Um, I'm not even sure. I could check really quickly on here. Um, can you, hold on. Um, Samuel, please get Lewis to come on here so that he could help with support while we're on here, please. Okay. Okay. Well, Avi, I don't even see you in here under user management. I don't even, I don't know if you put in a different name or what name you actually have um, on there, but I don't even see you here. So that could be the reason why um, that is that way, Avi. Um, I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't even see you in here, Avi. So I am not sure what is going on. Um, I was signed in from the original login and not changed my name or my email. Um, you're going to have to deal with support of. All right, get with um, support will be able to help you out. So let's go ahead. And now that we have our accounts, the biggest thing that I want to get you all used to doing, how many of you all so far, okay, how many of you all so far have actually done your, um, have actually made a Facebook page? Let me know over in the chat contract. Uh, I'm sorry, over, um, let me know if you've actually made a Facebook page. Okay, page created, page created, awesome, awesome, awesome. So when you have made your Facebook page, the first thing that I like doing is I like actually practicing on that Facebook page, okay? And the easiest way to be able to do that is by going to the, um, going to your account. So what I wanna do is here, I'm going to go here and I am going to go into my messenger bot. Okay. Um, what you need to decide 
is what you need to decide is, okay, let's do this. Let's take a step back. Um, all of the support issues kind of threw me off. So let's take a step back for a second, okay? And what we also need to decide is when we are doing this, what we need to do is we also want to set up our email if you are going to be doing email campaigns, okay? And we need to set up a few other things. So what we are going to do here is we can actually go with um, an auto, um, our auto responder right here, okay? And do all of you all have a smart mail account? Let me know over in the chat box if you have a smart um, no, page just for video remix, whatever page you are going to use, Sunita. Um, how many of you all have a smart mail account, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can get, how you can connect your smart mail account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to projects. Okay, I'm going to go over to smart apps. Okay, and then I'm going to go into smart campaigns. Remember that smart mail was actually changed to smart campaigns. Um, and this is the link. Right, so this is smart campaigns. Okay, and what you are going to do with smart campaigns is you're going to go here up in your account and you're going to click on where it says API. Okay, where it says API, right. So where it says API, what you're going to do here is you are going to take these APIs and you are actually going to put them in your smart application. So right here, it'll say Excel integration. Okay. And what you are going to do is you're going to put add account. You're going to put in the name of whatever you want this to be. All right, so we're going to do, um, let's say it's Dean's um, Smart Campaigns account, okay? Then you're going to take the API URL, all right? So this is your API URL right here. You're going to copy that, okay? And then you're going to put in your API key, all right, which is this. This is your API token, okay? And you are going to put that API key in, and then you are going to click save, okay? Now, this is going to take some time, so don't just sit there and wait for it to be done. It may take a few hours to be able to do. But what it's going to do is it's going to actually connect your smart um, campaign account to smart marketer. All right, let me know if everyone understands that. And I'll make a little video and add it to the, um, I'll make a little video and add it to a course because this is an update. All right. After adding API URL and API key, it gives you an error. Let me, okay. <clears throat> Let 
Mickey, what I want you to do is this. And when you are in your smart mail, what I want you to do is I want you in your smart email, I want you to renew your token. Okay, renew your token, and it's going to give you a new token. Okay, even though that may say an error message, it is still working on it. Um, mine took a little while. It gave me an error at first. I came back a few hours later and it was actually done. So just renew your token and put the new token in there. As you can see right here, mine was created. I just did it the other day. So I am more than aware that it actually works. Um, and you can see all of my list right here also. So if it's giving you that error message, renew your token. One of the issues that some of you all may be having is if you purchase this product, okay? If you purchase this product a while ago and you never set up your account, right? If you purchase this a while ago and you never set up your account, most of your API tokens and things like that are old, right? Most of your tokens and everything are old, so you need to redo your tokens, okay? And also too, also too, um, also the thing about this is, is that um, it really depends on how long you've actually been. Like Mickey, you have two separate accounts, you need to make sure that the account that you have for your smart email is the same account that you were utilizing or you are use, using right now. So make sure that your smart email is the same email address and everything. Right? So just to go over this one more time, okay? What you are going to do is you are going to click into your messenger bot settings right here, messenger bot settings, and then you are going to go into actions right here. All right. And you're going to click on where it says Excel. Okay, then you are going to click add account and you are going to then go over to your um, your smart campaign account. You're going to drop down to API and you are going to put the API endpoint information. You're going to copy that. And then you're going to copy your API key. Okay. And then you're going to click save. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to name it. So what I'm going to name mine is smart campaigns two. Right. And if I did it correctly, as you could see right there, your Excel account has been added successfully. Boom, done, right? And then what I would be able to do is, now all of my lists are right there. Okay, I just added, Gabriel just added my smart campaign. It worked immediately. We would also have to renew each token and all the accounts we have. Now, if you should only have one smart mail account or smart campaign account, you should not have multiple smart uh, mail accounts.
all right you've got an error weird um um what i would do is did you clear your cash louie let me know over in the chat box if you cleared your cash all right jason did i did i entered everything and it um gave me an error okay so make sure that you go here and make sure that do you even have make okay so let's do this make sure to check your subscription and make sure that you have a actual if you are if you have a subscription maybe your subscription is not active check your subscription check your account to make sure that it's active all right let's do this let me see if we could do this let me do something okay louie <clears throat> okay see it's gonna bring mine it's gonna bring mine up because i am on here um louis uh i'm not sure why you're getting that error message you're gonna have to go to support to be able to do it i'm just not sure why you are getting an error message at all okay um have you actually updated any of your some Sonia, Excel is the name that we used for smart campaigns to be able to give you the API. Okay, the reason that you were unable, so Raja said, I just signed up for a smart mail account and I get errors after put, putting in API URL and API key unable to pull in data. Well, the reason that you are you are getting that is because if you just signed up for a smart mail account and there is no data to pull, you don't have anything in your account. So what is what information would it actually pull? That's why you have to create some type of list or go to create a list and you have to give some data for it to be able to use if you don't have any accounts in there or you don't have any contacts in there or you don't have anything in there then it has no it has nothing to pull into your account so go create a list really quickly um also too if you just created a smart mail account you may not even have an email address yet for that smart mail account, okay? So you have to create a list and give it something to use. That's what connects the API. So it's a little easier if you've created a list. Um, you have to have something for it to actually use. As you can see on mine, I have all of my lists here. Um, I have like seven different lists that are there. no each list doesn't have a different api there is only one api okay um timothy does it require a list yes it does require a list 
It needs to be able to pull data in. That's what APIs are for. APIs pull data in. If you don't have any data in there, you don't have any list, you don't have any campaigns, you don't have anything to pull in, it's gonna give you an error message because there's no data to pull in. Okay? All right, okay, you all. Um, let me, I'm gonna take a quick break because let me do something really quick because this class is going really, it's just going off the rails really quickly. Let me take a quick break, you all, because you all are asking, you all are asking things right now that are things that are for other training classes, other things for you to be able to use. Um, Mickey, you just asked where to create a list. It says list right here on my screen. It says create list. Um, I'm going to take a quick minute. You all get your create a list, go in the smart mail, go ahead and create a list. Once you sign in the smart mail, it's gonna say list right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click create a list and you're gonna create a list. I'll give you all a minute to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. This is what we're going to do is I'm no longer going to take any questions from the chat box. Okay. Um, the reason for that is if we are going to get through this and I'm going to be able to show you, I can't help you on things that are small. Like how do I make a list on smart mail? How do I log in? How do I do this? How do I do that? So this is what we're going to do. Each and every one of you all, have go can go to smart academy right here and smart academy not only has a course on it has a course on smart email it also has a course on smart marketer okay i um before this class that's why i pushed the class back is because i gave everyone access to the smart marketer course almost five days before we jump into the actual course, right? So it looks like many of you all have not even looked at that course yet. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to, I'm gonna move forward with it. Most of your questions are going to be answered in the course information. So let's go ahead and let's move forward. And I am going to cut this part out of the recording. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go back to my dashboard. And now I also want to do something here. When I'm importing my accounts, you want to make sure that you import all your pages. You want to make sure that you import all of your groups. Another thing that you all are going to do is you all are going to go here to your subscription manager. And what you are going to be able to do is this is going to be your contact groups. So you can actually make groups here um, for your contact list that you have. So as you set up your page, there are going to be people that come to that page and they're going to, let's say you are selling different products, right? You're going to want to set each one up in a little group for you to be able to do that, right? So what we're going to do here is we're not going to worry about a group right now, but the biggest thing is, is in your subscription manager, this is where you're going to see all of your subscribers that have come to your page, 
right? And what it's going to do is it's going to break each page down and let you know about the subscribers and how many people have actually seen it, okay? So what you can do here is I can actually see my subscriber list, I could see my scan page inbox, my background scanning, or I could see my latest conversations. So I could just click on here and it'll actually show me all of my latest conversations, okay? And you can refresh this data. Now, um, see, these are all of the conversations that you have and you can actually click on the conversations or even click on your inbox to see all of those messages. Also in subscriber messages, you are going to have, if you had another, let's say you had another chat box that you were utilizing, right? Or you had another bot on another channel that you were using, what you could do is you can actually be able to migrate that over. So let's say you were um, on mini chat or you had a chat bot somewhere else and you wanna bring it over, you can actually, um, bring that over to this chat box. Now, these are where your labels and your tags are. So when you have a label here, as you can see, this is smart market sales, unsubscribe, smart marketer um, reply campaign, e-commerce, and commenter. And it also shows you the page name that they are on. So what you can do here is watch this. I can click on here. And it's actually going to take me to the page where this is at, right? So this is my, um, my practice page for this, all right? So now with your subscriber messenger also, okay? With your subscriber messages, you can add a contact group, but if you have a list already, okay? If you have lists already, what you can do is you can actually put people, um, you could put people into your contacts or you can actually import, in the, um, import an entire list into your contacts and you can assign that sequence, okay? There are a lot of other things that you can do um, with Subscriber Manager. Um, you can have custom subscribers, so you can do an email phone opt-in, right? If you want to build phone numbers or if you want to get phone numbers from your um, users, what you can do is you can actually build out an email phone opt-in, right? So you can name the actual form. So this would be um, phone demo, okay? And then I can name a contact group. So if I've already made up a group, I can actually add that group or I could create a new group. I can have my select SMS sequence here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how, that, how you do that. You can also have your select email sequence. Okay, your select email sequence. So if you want to put it on autopilot, then what you can do is you can do email sequences where they come out. And then it'll ask you how you want this to display. So you can display it as a pop-up, fixed, or a direct URL. And then you can even um, choose, a, choose an option to make an event after successful form submission. So if they submit a form, right, what you could do is you could set up a success message and you could have a message that says, hey, thank you for, um, Thank you for submitting your phone number, or you can actually have a, um, you can have a redirect URL. So you can even use a thank you page, okay? You can change the background image here. Um, you can have agreement, so you could do header, you can do first name, last name, email, phone number, subscriber button, paragraph, all of these different things here. So we could change this. So you could put enter your first name, enter your last name, enter your email, and then I could actually put here or drop this in here, enter your phone number, then I could put my privacy statement, and then I can actually do my button, which is you could label that. So you could have submit, you could have this say submit, okay? And then you can actually change it into these different ones. You could change the alignment, 
and then you could change the name, right? So I could do submit your information, okay? And then you could save that, right? Form display is wrong, hold on one second. Um, form display type, I could do it as a pop-up, pop-up delay. So I could do 10 seconds, the same way that you're on a, um, the same way that you would do it, pop-up position, hold on. Pop-up position, bottom right, I could do center. Let me see if there's anything else that's needed redirect URL because I did that. So I could send a success message. Thank you for filling out the info, Nation. okay? And now I should be able to do it. So now I have, a, um, I have an actual form that I could be able to do, and I have an opt-in form and what you could do is you could actually get the embed code for that opt-in form and you could even view the form, right? So this is what the form would look like. Um, the opt-in form would look like um, what it's actually going to look like. And then you could edit the form and you could do all types of things like that. Okay. Um, let's see. So that's the opt-in. This is the bot subscribers. Now let's go over to Messenger Bot. Now, this is where it's, this is really the beginning of everything that you are going to do, okay? Um, this is, to me, what you want to start playing out with, okay? Now, there are two ways to be able to do this. Now, this is your, remember something really quickly. There's a difference between your messenger bot and your comment automation, okay? Your bot is just that. Your comment automation, right? Your comment automation, right? Your comment automation is basically what you set up on your page where someone comes in and they put in right here. Let's say if you want to do um, let's see what this is. This is smart messenger. So what I could do is I could go here and I could put in, hello. Okay. And when I do that, this is the auto reply. Okay. So when you hook up your auto reply, remember this is, see, this is your auto, this is your auto reply, and this is your inbox reply, okay? And we'll get more into that. Um, we'll get more into that tomorrow um, because we'll go actually into setting it up. So let's just do this really quick. Let's go back here and let's go back. And what we are going to do here Okay. Now, you can even do automation campaigns, right? So if you want to create an entire campaign, meaning that you are doing a comment and inbox reply, you can also do auto likes, okay? You can do auto like, so you can do a um, edit full page reply. Now, let me, this is, this is something, let me show you all this because this actually was one of the things for me that I got a little confused about on my own, okay? Now, let me show you all, I'm gonna put this in the chat box. Now, this is creating your um, comment automation. Okay. Now, comment automation for me is the first thing that each of you all should work on. Okay. Now, what is comment automation? 
how what are the use cases for comment automation now comment automation for me is one of the biggest things that is going to allow you that's going to help you with sales and also that is going to blow your clients minds okay this is it but i have to have you understand something okay now when you are doing your comment replies that does not mean that happens on your page that does not hi mean there that this that is paul Pana. i'm so excited to have you on board bot. congratulations you are now part of the business so backpack what I mean family by that is now this. before you get when access you to business backpack page, i have one right? important message you for you and page, this message will be going away going very soon and this is the only chance for you to see this exclusive message that is i want to let you in on box, our exclusive right? business backpack elite membership box. that now, you can test drive today and get complete access to this is the only upgrade that you get access to as a part of business backpack and for a limited time, this allows you more, to get where you personal access to myself, or my Facebook team, message. and literally have us okay. handhold you to now, success. When you will be working on your bot subscribers, you want to get people to subscribe to your bot as much as possible. Okay. The reason for that is because what you're going to be able to do when you have them subscribe to your messenger bot you're going to be able to do email autoresponder you'll be able to do user input flows um you can connect a uh, third party you can have messenger engagement and i'm going to show you all all this but comment automation for me is the funnest part to be able to do so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run a comment. We're going to put together an automation campaign. Okay. Now, the first thing that you can do is you can create a template. Okay. A template is going to be what your, um, what your comment is going to be. So let's just say, um, comment template example, right? now please give the following information for post auto comment so this would be anytime someone posts on your page right anytime someone posts on your page this would be the comment this is where you add that comment thank you for visiting okay now i'm going to save that right even though i spelled visiting wrong now when i do this i'm going to come over here now this is your reply template okay this is your auto reply template all right now does everyone understand the difference between a comment and a reply let me know over in the chat box if everyone understands the difference between a comment and a reply. Okay, so let me let me explain this to you all, okay? Because this is where this is where it can get really interesting, right? So let's say, for instance, this is my page. Someone visits my page, right? And let's say I have a post that says, um, I have, let's say I don't have anything right here. Let's say we don't have anything right here. And someone goes into my page and, hold on, let me view as a visitor. I always have to view as a visitor, right? So someone goes on my page and I am not um, there, I, first time that they're landing on my page or whatever what they're going to do is they are going to put um oh i love this video okay that's a comment okay now what you can do is you can have it set where anytime someone actually makes a comment right Anytime someone actually makes a comment, 
you have a comment reply. That's what we're looking at right now. This is the comment auto comment template manager. This is where you create all of your comment automation templates. Now, these are your reply templates, okay? So this is where you're going to put all of your replies. So if I am saying, if I'm selling a product and let's say I'm working for a, um, give me over in the, over in the chat box, um, give me a, a niche that you may, um, a niche that you may put a page together for. Let me know over in the chat box, solar, okay? So let's say we go here, okay? And we say, we got a solar page and I create this and I'm like, welcome to, welcome to um, Solar Express. Comment below on anything that you may need, okay? And I put this post there, right? So I have that post there. When I do this auto, um, when I do the comment template right here, what I'm really doing is I am making all of the different comments that I want, all of the different templates that I want, right? So please give the following information for post auto comment, okay? Now, what I'm doing here is when I'm putting my reply templates in, if I say um, on my sales pages, I have, if you put in smart demo, let's look at this real quick, right? So watch this, look, because this is really, really cool, okay? So it says, please give the following information for post auto reply. So anytime someone's going to post, so it says, please select the page for auto reply. And I could select whatever page that I want for that reply to go on, okay? Then it says, write down the offensive keyword. So do you, what do you want, um, what do you want to do about offensive comments? If someone just puts in F you for some reason, because you have people that'll do that, you can put hide here, right? And then what you can do is you can write in offensive keywords in your, um, you could write in offensive keywords here. Excuse me. I never bother doing that, to be honest with you all. I never, ever do it because um, the system already, Facebook already has an offensive comment. Um, I guess a, a, you could call it an algorithm. Uh, and what it does is it basically filters out when people say curse words. And this is already set to go against that. So unless it's something that you are, um, I don't know, like if you're, maybe if you're selling, um, I don't want to say marijuana. Well, I mean, pot is legal now. So if you're selling marijuana and someone tries to put in something like, oh, come buy dope for me, or I don't know, something, you can always do that, right? And then what you can do is um, you can actually make a message template for private reply after deleting their comment. So you can have a template that just says, hey guy, um, your, your comment is not liked or something like that, right? Your comment is not liked or, and then it'll send them a, um, a private reply but what I want to show you all is, is that when you all are doing this, okay, what you want, a lot of times what you want to do is you want to create your comments first, okay? Because once you get to the reply template and you create a new template, it's going to actually ask you, do you want to use those replies? So let me show you how this works, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna select my practice page too, which is a page that I don't want to, that I normally don't use. Do you want to send reply message to a user multiple times? I always click yes. The reason for that is because sometimes people are so, um, they're like, they're so impressed by what you're doing that they may ask more than one question or they may demo and do more than one, 
right? So what you want to be really, really careful about is you want to answer them. Um, some people may want to do multiple times and answer them. With me, I always do multiple times because I'm actually selling the marketing product. So a lot of times you all will go in there and I'll say, comment this, and you'll make that comment. I'll say, comment this, and you'll make that comment, right? Now, what you're going to do is it says, do you want to enable comment reply? you're gonna do yes, because every time someone makes a comment, you want to reply to that comment. Do you want to like on comment by page? Now, this is something that I didn't even tell you all about, but this is all about engagement, right? So you can not only reply to their comment, you can actually like their comment, and your page will actually automatically like their comment. Now, I always say no to this one, but it says, do you want to hide comments after comment reply? Some people you may want to, okay? And this would be, let's say you are working with a clothing company and you're running a contest. And in that contest, there's a discount that you want to give people, right? But what you don't want to do is you want you don't want people like you give the discount code in the auto reply but you don't want every person just to be able to go on the page and get the discount because the discount is um in the auto reply so what you can do is it will actually hide the comments so it'll make the comment that comment will stay up there for a short amount of time right it'll stay up there and then after a while, it will actually hide that comment. Let me know all if you understand that, because it's a really, really, really cool feature. Okay. Yes. Let me know. Give me a yes if you understand that. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put no right here. Now, look, this is where, okay. So now what we could do is here is you can do it where you have a generic message for all, all comments. If they say hello, if they say, hey, this, if they say do that, if they say, um, let's say they say, oh, I want to find out more information, right? You can have a generic comment that literally will comment no matter what they say on the page, okay? Or you can do a send message by filtering word or sentence. Now that is how I set mine up where I say, hey, if you put smart marketer, so let's just do it. Anyone want to see it done in person? I think we should do it in person. What do you think? What's the time frame to stay on? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by what's the time frame to stay, stay on. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a generic message. We're going to do, let's do this page, my practice page two. We're going to make a generic message. And what I'm going to name this is, is I'm just going to name this generic message. Okay, and what's going to happen is, is that no matter what anyone says, I'm going to only say this generic reply. Right, and that's gonna be thank you for visiting our page, okay? Now, I can either put an image for the comment reply, or I can add a video for the comment reply. Now, this is up to you depending on what you were selling or who you were working with, right? So if you are working with a company that normally sells through images, then you can add an image there, or you can even put a gift there or something that says hello or whatever it is, or I can upload a video. Okay. So I can actually upload a video and let me just see if I have a video here, right? I do. I have a video here and I'm going to upload that video. Okay. Now, what you do not, I, I, this is just my suggestion. 
um, the time frame for the discount code to stay on. I believe it is it stays up until the next person is a makes their message and then it goes away if I'm correct. Okay. Now, one thing that you would I would say is being careful about the video is you do not want it to be a long drawn out video right now for instance i do webinars and let's say i have an hour and a half webinar and that webinar is how i'm trying to sell a product i don't want to actually upload that webinar to i don't want to use that as the auto comment one is because the file is going to be ridiculously big but number two is that what i would prefer to do is i would prefer to make a um comment reply that says webinar um if you would like to find out more information about this product please watch the webinar just write the word webinar in the comment section and then if they write webinar in the comment section then that's when that video of the webinar will come up okay so you can utilize that flow for a lot of different things so i'm just going to abort this because i put a big video up there now you cannot do an image and a video for a comment reply it has to be either or you could use a you could use a, um, an image and let's just use an image right let's do an image here um let's find a good image right let's just use utilize this image okay and it takes a little bit um for that image to come up and what will happen is is that when you know that the image is up is because it'll give you a preview now this is where i love this system okay now, remember earlier when we made our message template or our comment template, give me a yes over in the chat box because this is huge. That's why I told you about the comment template above. Remember when we made that? So we made a comment template earlier. We made all of those comment templates earlier. Now, this is where the system blows past all of those other marketing systems but also this is where you can make a huge mistake one ie i made when i was messing with my system also because even though i first had my system set up for my developer i like to i like to know how things work and i'm like a goof that way so i had a message but it was way too long because i was doing it the wrong way right so what happens here is is that you can make all of these messages here right from the comment template or or if you forgot to do it you can you have this little button here that says add message template right and if i click that what's going to happen is is that i'm going to be able to make that template all right so i can make this example template okay i can make it example templates i can create a label um i'll show you about the sequence and campaigns in a minute and then you can actually have variables right so a variable is after you save a response in the custom field you can use it as a variable in your message reply to subscriber how to use it you would use custom fields now this is my example template webinar that's what we're going to put right and what i'm going to do here is this is where it's really really awesome ladies and gentlemen okay reply number one watch this right now i can drop this down and look at all of these different options i can do an image i can do audio now um sunita for you you may want to use this one i love the audio one um i absolutely love it because i had it on the page before and it was like welcome welcome to um smart video marketer and people are like where is that voice coming from and you can actually do audio right you could do video now 
for a lot of you all, a lot of you all, if you all are giving a bonus or you're giving a lead magnet, instead of you having to put the lead magnet there yourself, you can actually upload the lead magnet file, right? And typing on display, it'll, it'll look like it's actually typing out something to them. Sometimes I turn this on, sometimes I don't. And then you can delay in the reply in seconds, right? So if you want it to wait 10 seconds or five seconds, you would put that there, but then you have a quick reply, right? So you can actually use a button or you could ask for users, phone number, email, that's a quick reply. So it goes boom, instantly, okay? You can also, you could do text with buttons, okay? So a text with buttons would mean like you give them a few different options. Um, you're like, oh, well, do, would you like to find out about, um, would you like to find out about our candy? Would you like to find out about our pretzels? Would you like to find out about this? Would you like to find out about that? You could do a generic template right? You can also do a carousel. Um, let me know if anyone knows what a carousel is. Most of you all should know what a carousel is. Let me know. Carousel. Okay. So a lot of companies that sell clothing do carousels. Okay. So especially for women, so they'll have where, um, let's say there's a pair of shoes and, but that shoes comes in five different colors so that they don't have to go through all five different colors what you would do is you would actually do a carousel and you would add all of those pictures there and what would happen is it would come up and then it would move it would show it for a little bit and then it would go to the next picture then it would go to the next picture now the great thing about a carousel also is that you can actually do an image click destination meaning a call to action so if you were selling shoes, then if they like the picture or the carousel, right, then you would take them directly to that sales page where they could purchase. Let me know if you all understand that because that is really, really powerful. Let me know if you all understand that. That is really, really powerful, right, for e -com, okay? Now, we could do media. Now, what is media? Media is basically if you have a YouTube video or you have a video from a Facebook page, right? Um, you have a video from a Facebook page. Um, you have a Vimeo video. You have YouTube, one of those videos. So instead of you having to download it and upload it, you could just use the URL and it tells you about the format. Okay, you have a one-time notification. Now, one-time notifications, I don't use as much. Um, we'll get into it later um, on maybe tomorrow's class or the class after. It's one of the few ones that I don't really use a lot of or haven't used. Um, then you have a user input flow, okay? Now, what we would have to do is we would have to set up a user input flow. But what that is, is that is um, like right now um, and tomorrow, I'm having a webinar about um, the battle between Facebook and an apple which uh, it looks like apple is winning uh, or is going to win that um it's gonna it's it's gonna be a clusterfuck for marketers just clustered right so what you could do with a user input flow is one of the hardest things right now or what's going to be very very difficult for anyone who is advertising to people that have an iphone is that now um um, Apple is going to prompt them when they land on your site or they land on your app, they're going to prompt them and say, hey, um, do you give permission for this person to track you around the internet? They're going to tell you what they're tracking. They're going to tell you why they're tracking it. And the estimate is that 85% of people are going to say no. They're going to say no, of course I don't want you tracking me because it just sounds bad. Even though, even though I'm not going to lie to you, I want Nike tracking me. There are some companies I actually want to track me because that's how you find the good deals, right? And that's how they put sales. Like there are certain companies, like especially with sneakers, 
dude, you can track me all day because then that way I don't have to go searching for things or when I search, then you already know what I like, then you can send me a personalized ad. So some tracking is actually good. But what you can do with the user flow campaign is you can ask them, if you're working with a real estate agent, you could ask them first, hey, do you have a current agent? And they say, yes. Then it shows something, right? It shows, okay, um, do you have, have you been approved for a mortgage? Um, then you would have yes or no. Depending on if they, so, if they do yes, then they would go to one place. But if they say no, they would go somewhere else. So that is a select flow campaign. Let me know if you all understand that over in the chat box, because these campaigns, we're going to be working on these campaigns also, because if you're someone who is going to be selling multiple products or you need data and you're going to be selling leads, right? It, exactly. Um, Barbara, it is exactly like a phone tree, right? It's a really, really cool thing. Then you have e-commerce, right? Now, e-commerce this is going to, when you are going after the low hanging fruit, so setting these up for businesses, e-com businesses are going to be one of the easiest ones for you to be able to do. Okay. The reason for that is because the problem that a lot of e-commerce has right now is customer support on their um, Facebook pages, because they would actually have to hire someone to go in there and reply to people and send people information. That's why we have the auto reply feature, right? So you can actually select your store. So I'm, I'm selecting my store. Then in my store, I could have a carousel or some generic reply that I've selected. And then I can even provide a buy now button text. So I could say, hey, um, buy now, I could just put buy now. And then I can actually add more replies here, okay? So you can have, you. it doesn't just need to be one reply that you can do, you can do multiple different replies, okay? You can use multiple different replies with multiple different reply types. Let me know if you understand that. Okay. This is the I this is the funnest part for me. Just figuring out what uh, what kind of replies do I want? Because I could do text, then I could do an image, I could do audio, then I could do video. Um, you could do um, you could do carousels. You could do um, you could download a file. All of these different things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete some of these right here. And what we are going to do is I'm going to for my first reply. And I could actually do this as a sequence also, I'll show you all that. But as my reply, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, instead of doing e-commerce, I'm gonna do a video, okay? I'm gonna set my delay to zero, okay? And I am going to, is this the small video? I think, um, hold on, oh, this is it. This shouldn't take as long. Okay. Now you got to wait a little bit because what will happen is, is that while it's uploading to the system, you see how you don't see the um, a submit button or a save button. That's because it's still uploading it in. Once it's done uploading, it's going to give you that save button. Um, Rio says, can you have two bot programs associated with the same Facebook page? Um, that would actually be very, very confusing, Rio. Um, the reason why is because you, you're, you don't know how to turn one on and how to turn one off. So I think the answer for that is no. I believe that that is the answer. I don't think that I would have one in there. Okay. 
Um, I imported Facebook pages, but when I select page for auto reply, no pages are listed. Um, there is a close and refresh button. Um, and also too, you, you have to remember that it's getting permission from Facebook also. So when you first import it, it may take a little bit of time to actually upgrade your account. Um, it's not always instantaneous. Okay, you can't put in a smart personalized video. You actually can, but you need to put it in as a URL link. Okay, so you can use a smart personal video, but you're going to have to use it as a URL link. All right, so now we see that. So now this is, and you could preview it also, right? And now what I'm going to do is now that that's up there, I'm just going to submit that. It says template has been done correctly. Okay, and then I'm going to close. <clears throat> now it says select the message template for private reply. Now for private replies, you can only do two reply messages. You can't just send them message after message after message after message, right? So now we have this keywords here. This is done. It says generic message for all. Um, this is up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that. Okay. And now what's going to happen here is, and this is where, um, okay, so let's just do this. And then this is going to be my generic message. What I can do is I could click on there and just be able to see. So please give the following for post auto reply. So now what will happen is, is that once we go to Dean's page, right? Once we go to Dean's practice page two, right here, okay? Once we go to Dean's practice page two, we can also create a comment, um, a campaign this way, right? So I'm going to edit full page reply, right? And now I already have this. Now a full page reply is just a little bit different. It's more, it's more of the same. So what it is, is that you can put all of your different replies in there, um, all of your different comments. Um, basically the way that this works is, is that it gives you, a less complicated way of doing it. And then it gives you like a more in-depth way of being able to do it. But I can also go here and I could also say auto like or auto like this post by other pages. And the thing about that is think about this for a second, cause I love this too, right? So you can actually auto share that post, right? So if you are working with a company who has um, um, if you're working with a company, okay, you're working with a business and say it's a real estate company, right? What you can do is when you make the post or make this post, what you can say is you can actually have it where it auto shares that, okay, where it auto, where it'll auto share the post. So you can make a post there and you can actually auto share that. And really what this feature is for is this feature is really for you to be able to, um, the feature, this feature is really for you to be able um, to, to get more traffic and to get more exposure on your post. Um, some people have multiple pages. So what I could say is, is that I want this to auto post. Um, I want to auto post this on all of these pages, auto share this on different pages. So I can select, I want it on, I want video remix to share it. I want smart video, <clears throat> smart business to share it. I want my test page to share it. You could show all of those. And then what you could say is, is you could say, once I've made that post on there, all of these pages are going to auto share that post. Okay, now that is when you are utilizing the way that you want to do this is this isn't something that you need to be careful on, 
But what you can do is you can kind of upcharge your client for this because what they'll think that you're doing is they'll think that you are doing the posting on those other pages. Let me know if you understand that because this is absolutely big and it's a huge, huge time saver, right? It's a huge time saver. So you're working with the client they have 10 different pages. They make a post. What you could do is you could just put on auto share and put those 10 different pages there and the system will automatically share that post on those 10 different pages, okay? And then what you could do is you can actually enable auto like this post by other pages and you can even be able to say, okay, so someone made this post, I'm going to have two of my pages like it, right? But you can only do two pages, right? It says only two pages. It's That is for the auto like of the post. That's for liking the post. <clears throat> That's not for auto sharing, okay? For auto sharing, it's as many pages as you want. Um, for auto sharing, it's as many pages as you want, but for um, auto likes, um, it's only two pages that you could do. Right? So I could go ahead and I could save this. Okay. Now, in this, I have now, this is where I want to show you all something because you have to be very, very careful of something, right? You have to be, what I like to do here is when I'm doing this, um, when I'm on this practice page here, okay, and I'm creating a campaign, you can edit full page reply, right? And as you can see, this is the same thing that we used before, almost the same page that we did before. The only difference in this is that what I did here is this has different campaigns that I've set up. So this campaign is smart demo. So if they put in smart demo, demo testing or testing, this is the message that they're going to get. This is the message for the auto for the comment reply, right? And then they are going to get this video. But then what they're going to get is they're going to get this message this message here, the smart demo reply to, they're going to get this as their private message. So you have, if you are doing this, what you need to be very careful about is you don't, you, we just created a, um, we just created a generic message. And then we also have, um, we also have non-generic messages which are um, which are actually campaigns. So let me show you how that works, right? So before we did a generic message for all, but now we actually have both of these saved for the same page. So let me just show you how that's gonna work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my practice page right here. <clears throat> And then I need to view this as a visitor. Always remember that when you are um, when you are um, when you are the admin of a page, you actually see the back end of your page. Let me just show you all how this works, right? So you see the back end of your page. Okay, this is actually the back end. This is my admin. Okay, and it actually says who I'm interacting is, right? If I go here and I create a post, okay? If I go here and I create a post, and this is taking a long time just because uh, I'm gonna go to webinar, but if I go here and I create a post, I want to show you all something here because a lot of times I'll try to, um, when I'm trying to practice to see if the comments are working, 
I'm forgetting that what I'm doing is there's this little drop down box right here and it says choose how to interact. You cannot make a comment of your on your page. Like if I'm my page, I can't make a comment on my page and the auto comment or anything like that works. I have to be interacting as someone other than my page, right? So what you wanna do is, let me just show you this, hold on, this practice page here, right? So if I created this post, like I have this post that's already here. Um, so let's just do this. So I have this comment. I'm gonna, I don't know why that's taken so long to come up, but let's just do this. <clears throat> Let me do this, okay? This is my smart, I, I, I wanna use this page, but I'm not sure why this is acting this way. Hold on. <clears throat> Maybe I just have too much stuff up. So I'm gonna view this as a visitor. Okay, and then what you'll see here is now it's me, Dean Gilmore, is doing it. And then what I would do is I would do a post here. Let's close these out. Maybe that's why. That could be why. I think it could be. Or it's just moving slow because I'm on Facebook. Okay, so this is not, this is me, me. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do my practice page. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I'm going to create a post and I'm going to be like, hello, how are you, right? Now I'm posting as myself, not my page. Now, once I make that post, right? Now I made that post and now look at what you're seeing here, right? These are my notifications. Publish the post, hello, how are you, right? So now I am doing this. If I put in, hi, My auto post should happen pretty soon. Let me see. Smart. Hold on, let's do demo. Whenever you first, when you first make an auto reply, um, it does take a little while for it to update on your actual page. Let me just see if that worked. Demo. Okay, there we go should be working in a second it does take a little bit of time for it to um for it to update on your page it's not instantaneous okay so um the reason why this isn't showing right now is because it needs to update on my page all right so what you can do here is you can really really choose how you want your page to function Right now, what I want to do is I want to do this. I want to ask you all. Um, I want to ask you all, let's look, let's look from you all's perspective, right? From your perspective, what type of, and now it looks like it's see, now it's working. Now you see how it did that. So now first it's Dean's practice page two, likes your comment, right? And then it just sent me that message. So it didn't take long for the settings to actually come in. Okay, but this setting still hasn't come in yet. Okay, so you could go here and you could try it right here and it should work. Right, so now it's emailed, it's messaged that, this is my inbox messenger. 
And then this is my auto comment right here. This is my auto comment messenger right there. Now, what I want to hear from each one of you all is this. What do you, what is your first thought on the first type of business that you're going to set up? Is it going to be a niche? Is it going to be a store? Um, what is it? Um, what is it going to what is it going to be? What what are you going to utilize, right? <clears throat> and you could just test this here. Um, you could test what just happened. You could test that there. So um, what are you, what's your first thing that you're going to do? Lead generation for attorneys, okay? Um, niche, um, niche is not a niche. What is the niche? niche and then in um ecom that is not a niche a niche is not a niche um uh, then ecom links to stores what do you mean links to stores real estate okay let me know what niche you're going to do dentist give me more now let's go to let's do this okay let's do dentist near me okay i want to go to dentist near me okay when you all are thinking about um when you all are thinking let me close some of these down maybe that will help okay when you all are thinking about um, being able to, let's go here. When you all are thinking about setting this up, the best way for you to start, right? The best way for you to start is, I'm going to go dentist near me. Okay. The best way for you to start is by going to whatever niches page that you are going to be working on, okay? Whatever page you're going to be working on, right? The reason for that is very, very simple. Um, let's see. I don't, that doesn't look like a real dentist's office. Let's go here. All right. So this is, this hasn't been updated. They haven't put anything on here in quite some time. So as I'm going over this dentist office, number one, you see that there's a like button, but there is no messenger button, right? There's no bot button, okay? Um, so the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to put some kind of bot there and show them how the reason that they probably don't have a bot is because they probably don't have someone that is over their Facebook social media. Okay, so that's probably why you don't have a bot, because normally for a bot, you would have to set the bot up. The bot would ask questions. It would do all of that stuff. Then you have to have someone who goes to the bot or answers the email if it's connected to those things. So number one, what I would do is I would try to get this person a bot or show them how a bot worked, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all something that I did for you all. Now watch this. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna go into broadcasting we're going to do this all tomorrow because what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to be able to set up our messenger broadcasting um, campaign. We're going to be able to set up our SMS broadcasting, our email broadcasting, and our SMS email sequence campaigner. Okay. Now, this is all for email templates. This is your SMS templates. This is your campaign list. This is your SMS settings. And also, too, what you'll find out is that this is your email broadcasting, which is 
you could set up smart mail there also. I'll show you all how to do that using the SMTP, even though you've already done it when it comes to your messenger, but just in case you may wanna do it. Now, what you are going to do tonight is this. Has everyone made their page? Let me know over in the chat box if you've made your page. Everyone's done their Facebook page, right? Let me know if everyone's done their Facebook page. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Now, if you've done it at a practice page, what you are going to do is, now there is Flow Builder right here. I've already added templates in for a lot of the, um, a lot of the niches that you've already asked about or already said, okay? So I've already added in niches here. I've already added in um, real estate. I've already added in e-commerce. I've already added in restaurant. I've already added in travel and tours, already added in multi-level marketing, already added in insurance, already add car dealership, already added gym. So what are those gonna be called for you all? Let me know what you call that. When something's already done for you and you are gonna go after a customer, these are your low hanging fruit niches. They're already set up for you, right? They're already set up for you. Now, the great thing about this is, is that you can actually go and say, you know what, I want to do real estate. Um, so this is gonna be my real estate example, okay? So you're going after a customer, you wanna sell them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on Dean's practice page too. Okay, and I'm gonna select that flow. Then I'm gonna press okay. Okay, now what I need you all to understand is it shows you how to use Flow Builder, okay? There is complete documentation here on how to actually set up Flow Builder, okay? It shows you everything that you need to know. I've already done the support for you. It shows you everything that you need to know. Now you can go into a flow list, okay? Now you could go in this flow list, but I have to save things first. Now, what I need to have you all understand is, is that there are different elements. There are buttons that you can use and there are actions that you could use, right? Now, what you are going to be able to do is when you click on here, you are going to be able to choose a trigger type. On each one of these, you're going to click on them and it will give you different triggers that you can use. So for this trigger, you can have a get started or you can even have a comment reply where this doesn't start until that comment reply happens, right? And what we could do here is I can do the smart demo, okay? And it says enter public comment reply. And I could put, hey, Dean, so that's Dean. Check out my real estate bot, right? So it's a comment reply. So this is going to trigger it, okay? Instead of a keyword, or you could do get started. A lot of people like get started, but I'm just going to do comment reply. And then this is anyone who puts smart demo, this is going to come up for them. Okay, now this is the second part here. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this and this is obviously the welcome message. So it says inner um, message set name. So I'm just going to do welcome. I'm going to do OK. And then this shows you up here. It shows you everything here, right? So what I'm seeing here is that there is a timing delay and then there is text, right? So as you are saying the text, what you can actually do is you can click the little I here to see what it looks like, okay? So now this is another button that shows properties here, 
watch. So if I double click on this, right, it's going to show my message. So high lead user, welcome to Lucky Realty. How can I help you buy? So if you were working with someone with real estate, then what you would do is instead of Lucky Realty, you would put their real estate company there, right? Then on the next one, there's a button and it says view properties and it says select button type and it says next step or you could do a post back, you could do a web URL or you could do a call and we're just going to leave that that way. Okay, so it's view properties. Okay, then you have here and it has view properties there. Okay, there's another timer, right? A little bit of delay, so there's a delay. Then here it says, here are some of the properties you might be interested in. And this is where you can actually list those properties. So if I go up here, I can actually, okay, I can make this bigger, I can make this smaller, but I can go in here and I could change what those elements actually are, okay? So here's some properties that you may be interested in. And then here is a carousel item. So now you can upload the different, you can upload all of the different properties right here. You can input the title, you could say yes. Here, you can input the title, input the subtitle, right? And then here's another one. Now, remember, this is a carousel. So you could put the direct image in there, or you could put the image, um, the um, image redirect URL. Okay. Now there's next step where it says learn more. Okay. And then there's this step here. Okay. Learn more. And now what you do is all of the ones that are purple, they have to be made green. That means that you need to choose something here. So I could choose here and I could just say, this is Dean. And now that's green, right? And then it's message name sent, but these were the houses. So that was Dean's house. And then we'll just put Dean's second house here. Okay. And then you could go through all of these. So there's a timer. And do you see how it splits off right here where it says there are properties that you may want? You can change this and make this a video. You could drop a video right there. You could drop a file right there. It's really just up to you, okay? Let me just get rid of this. Okay, I can put that there, okay? Now, I'm gonna go through all of these um, and I'm just gonna turn them, I'm just gonna turn them all green. And then I could tap the call. You could put your phone number in there. You could put a phone number in there, right? So let's just, I'll just put my number there. Okay, now that it's all green, what I can do is I could save that. <clears throat> There's one component, this is it. I just want to delete that. I can just add that to the end of here. Okay. <clears throat> Upload a video. Just add that little video there. Okay, and then I can just connect these two. So I just draw a line from there to there. Mm -mm. Uh, I was saying that that one's not compatible because I did a phone number. So I can bring that.
I could put this here. And I could go arrange here and I could add that here somewhere. What I want to do is I want to get that little button and I want to put that button right there. Okay. Oh, why? Hold on. Let me make this bigger. I'm so blind. Okay. So this is the um this is the first step so i would hook that there right and then this is the next step and i would hook that there okay and now all of these are green i could just move this and now i could save this and it says now you can run your flow and what i could do is i could actually send a test let me see who is Oh, you all are not on. Um, you are not subscribed to my bot. Hold on, let's go back real quick. Let me go back to something. Let me see. I think most of you all are subscribed on my real estate example. I'm going to... Hold on one second. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me go back to flow. Um, I needed, uh, you all are not subscribed to my bot. So what I need to do is, um, let me just create new template here, ecom, and then I will do Dean's practice page. Most of you all are on there, ecom. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on all of these. All of the purple ones, I'm just going to, so the keyword would be ecom. Okay. Get started, and I'm just gonna click on all of these. <clears throat> And then let me see, I should be able to send this to you all. <clears throat> Hold on, let me just move this. Okay, and now let me see if I can send test. Let me ecom example, and I'm gonna save. Okay, and then I can send test. Let me see if I have any of you all as subscribers. Louie, I could send it to Louie um right now um anyone else as a subscriber let me just see fail to send send test um let me see if barbara is a subscriber barbara let me see okay Failed to send. Okay, hold on one second. It's probably the reason why is because you haven't, um, you all are not subscribed now. Um, that's the thing about Messenger, um, about Messenger bots. You have to subscribe. Hold on one second. Let me just see if I could do my subscriber list. Let me just do something really quick.
Okay, let's do this. All right, what I want you all to do is I want you to go to my practice page. <clears throat> the thing about Facebook is after, after a certain amount of time, um, Facebook does not want you using bots for spam. So even though you all were subscribed before, you haven't been subscribed in a while. So let me just use my practice page. And then what you all could do is you could just subscribe to the bot. Okay. You all could just subscribe to the bot. So what you could do here is you could go here and then you can just hit this send message and send me a message. Right, so Louis, oh, you did get it, Louis. Okay, for some reason, um, how do you subscribe? So you're just gonna go here and you're gonna put send message and then you'll just say, hello, how are you? Okay, and then that will make you a subscriber. All right, so now what I could do is I could go to my subscriber manager here. Okay, and I could go bot subscribers. Okay, so now I'm seeing Timothy. Um, Timothy just did it. So now what I could do here is now that Timothy is a um, bot subscriber, I can actually go to Flow Builder right here. And I could send this to Timothy. So I could go here and I could go share this flow. Oh, I could actually email it to people also. Okay, but let's go here. I'm going to go edit this flow. And then I could send this as a test. Let me save. Okay. And then I could send this as a test. And I could go Timothy Adler, right? Send test. Timothy Cole. I think Timothy Cole may have just done it. I don't know why it's saying failed, um, but it looks like it's going through. Let's see, Barbara. Let me just see, Barbara, Darby, there you go. See that time I didn't, oh, I gotta check that out. Failed to send test. Um, Barbara, you should have gotten it. You just see something. See, so hello, how are you? And then welcome to, you all see that? So now it has all of the automation there. You can explore the store. Okay. So what I want you all to do, um, if the type of flow, um, what I want you all to do is I want you all to actually, if you haven't set anything up and you don't have a bot right now, I want you to set one of these bot flows up on your actual page, your practice page. That way you could start getting used to how this is actually going to work for you. If the type of flow is not there, how do it for a different business? If the type of flow is not there, how do you do it for a different business? Then you're gonna have to build one from scratch, okay? You would have to build one if the flow isn't there for the type of business. And what I would do is I would go and I would actually see um, what type of flow do they need? What are they selling? Are you gonna be selling something? Are you gonna be giving out something for free? What are you actually going to be doing?
Okay. All right. I'm going to use some of these templates first before. That's the best thing to be able to do. The best thing to be able to do is to try the templates that are already there. Okay. The reason that you want to try the templates that are already there is because they're already done for you. You'll be able to learn how the flow goes. Then you can go in and you can change those. But also one of the main reasons why is that if you have a customer that you are with, what you can do, um, a customer that you're going after, you can get on with them. You could send them, you could say, Hey, test out this bot. They become, a bot subscriber, and then you can actually send them a test of that bot. Now, another thing that I want to show you all, ladies and gentlemen, before we get out of here, is I want to show you one other thing, because this is what makes me really, really excited about this program. And it's something, excuse me, that I just, um, I really, okay, um, I really, 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 really love okay, um, is the resell ability, right? The resell ability. Now, let me show you, let me kind of explain this to you, okay? If you make a bot for a customer, what you can actually do is you can turn that bot into a template, right? And once you turn that bot into a template, Anyone else in our group or that has smart marketer that wants to buy that bot from you, you can actually sell that bot to them. So if you have someone and you bring up a page and they're like, oh my God, I absolutely love this bot. I want one just like it. Instead of you having to do everything all over again and build one for them, all you have to actually do is upload an image for that bot, okay? And now you have a bot template and what you can do from that template is you can actually just share that entire template with someone else. So if you are someone that really likes making bots or you make during the course, you make this really awesome bot, you can actually get paid to be able to turn that into a template. And what I'll do is I'll even sell it for you. Right? How much would you charge? It really depends on how extensive the bot is. Um, if you were talking about something that's like a real estate bot, um, depending, it really depends on how extensive it is right? It really depends on how extensive it is. And also, it really depends on what its functionalities are. Bots that grab first name, last name, email, and phone number are worth more than bots that just grab first name, last name, right? So if you have a bot that gets data like a phone number or a bot that sets up appointments or automates appointment setting and things like that, that's worth more than a bot that is just first name's last name and personalization because you automatically get that info from Facebook, okay? So it really just depends, but I would not sell any bots for less than because bots are, it's so funny because chat bots were the craziest, hottest thing probably four years ago. Then everyone was using the chat bot and they became less, everyone was like, eh, I don't care about chat bot. And now everyone's talking about chat bots again, just because technology has come forward so much that I remember the first time about four years ago, I tried to make a chat bot. It was so freaking complicated. It was complicated and they didn't have these type of flows. You used to have to, I remember I used to sit there, you would have to put in this, then you would have to put in this, and then you would have to put in that, and you would have to, you're just sitting there and you're typing, then you have to make the flow work for you. 
now you have things like our flow builder, which is built into our system that makes it a heck of a lot easier for you to be able to build because everything's there where you can see yourself. So creating a new flow, right? You could just create a new flow on your actual own, right? So you can create a new flow and then you could just, um, it already has the pages that are there and you are pretty much all set, okay? Can these flows be linked to a calendar? Yes, they can. Um, they can be linked to a calendar. Remember, most calendars are links. So if you have um, like my calendar, um, what do I have for my calendar? I think I have Calendly, right? Remember, Calendly is just a link. It's a URL. So you could just put a calendar a URL link so it can go directly to a calendar. Yes, it all, it's all about getting the data even more important now than ever before. Um, tomorrow, um, I am holding a webinar at, um, I believe it's 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, you are gonna be, you're gonna want to be on that webinar. Um, the world of marketing is about to change in a few days. Um, Facebook and, and uh, Facebook and, um, and Apple are at civil war levels right now. Um, Apple is about to, Facebook is about to sue them for antitrust. Apple doesn't care. Facebook is taking preemptive measures. I don't know if you all have seen this before, but now Facebook is, um, they just put out a pop-up the other day that will tell you that that's trying to get you to understand that tracking you is good for Facebook, um, is good for you. And they've been pulling out this pop-up um, randomly to people um, saying, hey, um, before Apple does its thing, the only problem is, is that once Apple iOS 14 drops, which should be in the next few days, Apple has 1 billion Apple iPhone users all across the world, right? And once each and every one of them, when each and every one of them updates to iOS 14, it is going to be a complete and total crap show. It is going to um, Facebook ads. Um, Facebook is doing almost everything that they can, which is almost nothing. Um, you are going to, a pop-up's going to come up for 1 billion people that says, do you want people to track us? They've already, um, there are companies out there that have been running surveys and the answer has been an overwhelmingly no. Anywhere from 85 to 90% of the people that they've surveyed have said no, which means that for a billion, 90% of a billion people, so 900 million people, you will not be able to do a lot of personalized ads too which means that all of the millions and millions, millions and millions, hundreds of millions of businesses out there that are using Facebook advertising to be able to personalize their ads to their customers are not going to have as much ability to do that. Um, Facebook thinks that um, it can drop um, the amount of business for utilizing Facebook ads could drop by up to 60%. So if you're someone that was getting, uh, that was making, let's say you were running Facebook ads and you were making $10,000 a month, um, Facebook thinks that you're spending the same amount on ads that your revenue could drop by 60%. It is absolutely positively crazy, okay? Um, let me know, I just need, um, I'm not sure what you are saying there. 
I want to make a market for commercial door loading dock industry sales and service. So need a flow for that. Um, yes, you need to make that flow. I don't know that industry, um, Roy. So you know that industry. Now, what I am going to allow you all to do is if you were someone, and this is um, really, 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 um, not really just confusing for you, but you want to get off the ground very quickly. Um, we do have um, my developer who has a team um, his team can actually make the flows for you all. Um, I wasn't going to tell you all about that. That was going to be a surprise. Um, it is something that you would have to purchase from him, but he's the same developer who helps me develop this product. He's the one who makes um, my smart marketer flows and he'll, he has made his team available. So if you're someone that wants to get a flow off the ground very quickly and very easily, you'll be able to do that. All right, but now it is 1.31. We've been on here for two hours and 30 minutes. What I'm gonna do is because it was, um, next time I do these, I think that day one, what we're gonna do is instead of jumping right into training, what we should do is we should probably do a, um, um, just bring support on for you all and make sure that your accounts are set up the right way. I think that that is what we should do first, um, um, that we should do first, and then we'll be able to do it. Um, and then we should get into training. Okay. All right, hold on one second. Yeah, I think that that makes a lot more sense. I just like, I like you want, you only got three days, you got so much stuff that you want to do. So I think that what we should do is this, right? We should kind of just take today as like a eh, whatever kind of day, you know? Um, next time, what I'll do is I'll put support on before, and then the first class, we'll just do all support issues. Okay, you're having a problem with this, you're having a problem with that, you're having a problem with this, you don't have this, you don't have that. Um, what I normally, like if me, I'm normally proactive if I know that I have a training class and I am, my account's not working or I haven't logged in or anything like that. I normally do it before the training class, but not everyone's like that, so I kind of understand. But what we are going to do is we will just go back at it tomorrow, okay? So everyone have a nice night. Thank you all for being on here. And I will see you the same time tomorrow morning. Now, remember, you are automatically added to the next webinar. So do not worry about that. Talk to you soon, everyone. Bye now.